Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you the right way to create a table of contents in Microsoft Word, one that will automatically update when your page numbers change or when you add new sections to your document. Here I have a simple document, project analysis, and I'm just using the lorem ipsum text to fill things in. This particular document is only four pages long, so it's not massive, but as you can imagine, and I'm sure you work with day to day, this could be much longer, maybe dozens of pages or hundreds of pages, and you need to be able to easily organize and navigate around. Now you might be tempted to just create a table of contents by hand, something like this. Introduction, you put in a page number, scope, you put in a page number, and so on. And you just go manually see what the page number is and then add it which might seem fine, but if it's a really large document and it's a work in progress where your page numbers are changing a lot or you're adding new headings, you're gonna to have to update the table of contents a lot, which is kind of tedious. So don't do this, let's get rid of that. Let's say you know better and you're gonna use the Word version. So to do that, you come up to the References tab, Table of Contents, and we'll just choose the first one here for the Automatic Table 1 style. But when you do that though, you're gonna get this little prompt saying, start by applying a heading style from the styles gallery. Well, what exactly does that mean? Basically, this table of contents here is gonna look through your document and it's gonna look at headings that have a heading style. So this heading, for example, introduction, if we come up to home, this is just using the normal style and it's got a bold to it, but there's nothing special telling the table of contents, oh, this is actually a heading and I need to add it to the table of contents. So the heading style right up here, heading one, is what you need to apply. So for each of our headings, I'll apply this heading one style. There is a handy shortcut if you go click your format painter, double click it actually, then you can apply this style multiple places without having to go up to the ribbon and keep clicking on things. So we'll just apply that heading one. Now here under appendices, we have appendix one, two, and three. These we actually wanna be indented in the table of contents. So what that means is we need to apply a heading two style instead of heading one. So for these, we'll go with heading two. And that's really all you need to do. That's the magic that will get things pulled into the table of contents. So come back to your table of contents and then say update table. And there you go. It's pulling in the different headings and automatically figuring out what page they're on. And then you'll see under appendices, those got indented because we've applied a heading two to the three appendices. Okay, pretty simple. Now, what if your page numbers change? Let's say that scope for some reason, I'll just do a whole bunch of copy and paste here. This section got a lot longer, which is moving everything down to the subsequent pages. Well, luckily you don't have to come in here and manually update these numbers. Just right click on your table, or you can click up here as well, update field, and let's say that we just wanna update the page numbers only. Click OK, and there's the new page numbers. That other option to update the entire table, that's what you wanna use when you add new sections. So let's say we take this section here, scope, and have a new section, scope revisited, let's say, and then come back to your table of contents, update table. This time you wanna choose update entire table which is gonna go grab all your headings, make sure that it's included everything. And there you see scope revisit is included now. One other thing that makes this so powerful is that you can easily navigate to the different sections. So let's say you open this up and you only care about the recommendations. So if you hover over recommendations, you'll actually get this little tip here to hit the control key and then click. So I'll do that. And there you see we got taken down to the recommendations section. So super, super helpful if you've got a really long document and you don't wanna scroll for days to find the right section. And there you have it. That's how you can easily create a table of contents in Microsoft Word, one that'll automatically update and help you easily navigate the document. If you found the content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares.